when Dublin Town first came out, when it was known as Dublin Bid, I wasn't really convinced. To be honest, I thought it was uh, just ma mainly focused on the, the day daytime economy and uh, not really focused on the nighttime economy. Um, I had a number of issues with it, and uh, then I, I put my money where my mouth is, and I, and I engaged with Dublin Town and, and found out what they could do for me, and I was pleasantly surprised. Well, especially at the moment, coming back from COVID, um, it, we, we need people to promote the city and get people back, back on the streets. Um, with the money we pay towards Dublin Town, we, we can see where that money goes, and, and we can question where it goes, rather than it going into a black hole. The city needs to constantly improve. We need to always be at our best. In order to do so, we need to constantly tidy, fix and improve. Well, Dublin Town uh, were definitely instrumental in helping us get the uh, public order unit uh, with the guards uh, on board because there was that element that was creeping into the city and people didn't feel safe in, in the city, especially with tourists. And, uh, you know, by engaging with uh, the, the senior guardie at the time, um, that brought about the, uh, the public order unit, which was absolutely brilliant for the, for the trade. We've had a very challenging two years. We know that the next few years are going to be crucial for everybody, for our business, for our health, for our community, bringing people together. We now need to look forward to the future. And we need an organisation like Dublin Town to be the voice of all of the local businesses and our seat at the table and the representative of all of us. Well, we find the Dine in Dublin vouchers brilliant. Um, there's no commission on them, so we get 100% of the money and we, we do lots of them. The vouchers alone probably, probably pay for our, our fees for Dublin Town for the year. If I didn't have Dublin Town to do that on my behalf, to improve, to maintain, to service, to enhance my community, I would have to employ someone to do that on my behalf. They would have to go to the council and lobby the council. They would have to clean off graffiti down the road on a Monday morning. And that would cost me money, more money than I'm currently paying Dublin Town. So anti-social behaviour can be a problem in this part of town, but I can call Dublin Town and they can put us in touch with, with senior guards. From my experience, it's, instead of wondering what Dublin Town do, engage with them, f find out what they can do. They can you know, promote your business. Um, uh, I've been here for almost 30 years. I've worked in a, in a, in a city with, that doesn't have Dublin Town and a, uh, a city that does have Dublin Town. And believe me, we are better off as businesses to have Dublin Town. Mm -hmm.